So, welcome back, guys. We're looking at anvils and game rules today. Um, I'm just in the middle of making my new expanded map because for some reason, when you put the maps in the picture frame, they don't actually update. So you've got to sort of uh, recraft it and um, just look at it again, let it update and put it back in the frame. I also found they were a little bit buggy, so it wasn't always rendering exactly how it should do um, when you actually look in the frame here. See, I've upgraded the map to large and the small one just sort of went blank on me. But, um, you know, it's a... Uh, Quite a lot of bugs anyway, so it doesn't really matter. On, onward. So, um, still in the same uh, little house that I built uh, in previous snapshot videos. Um, this one is 41B. Okay, so it's updated now uh, to include the anvil, which is uh, we're going to have a quick look at in a bit. It doesn't really do, well, it does quite a lot, but it's a very basic thing, you know. Once you see it, that's what it does, you know. What you see is what you get. Um, I can see it being quite cool to drop on people as part of the traps, because uh, it, it, anyway, we'll get to that. So, uh, right, still got my uh, game mode switches, my weather mode toggle. Funny thing I found, I was flying around the other day and suddenly uh, something, a uh, passive mob actually walked over one of my uh, survival mode touch plates, so then I fell to my death. Um, I couldn't figure out why until, I, ah, there's a pig in my house, so. Um, yeah, this is the keep items on death button. Um, if you have a look here, it says game rule, keep inventory true. You've got to make sure that in the I, capital, make sure the capitalization is correct, otherwise it won't work. So I'm just going to cover that up. And then this one is obviously to, to, to not, which is false. This is kind of like my game rule tower, which I guess I'll build into a castle if I uh, uh, once this finally comes out. Up here, we've still got Mr. AB Gaming's diamond machine. Still giving us three diamonds for uh, 10 XP. Okay, so the middle floor, I've got mob spawning on and off, mob griefing on and off, and uh, block drops. So that's when you mine, you break a block. Does it block? Does it actually drop anything? I can see that being really useful in adventure maps. If you want people to be able to actually dig out an objective, but not actually get anything to then replace somewhere. Um, good for controlling that kind of thing. So do tile drops with the capitalization exactly there. I recommend pausing the video if it, if it wasn't up on there for long enough. Uh, mob griefing, true. So that allows endermen to take blocks and creepers to cause damage when they explode. Um, so anyway, I turn that off just for the purposes of, well, <laughs> mob spawning, do mob spawning, has the same kind of effect as being, being in peaceful mode. I probably just changed difficulties. It seems like, yeah, but anyway, uh, I think that's one thing I haven't actually done yet is show the difficulty commands, but using the command block, it's pretty much the same deal. You just difficulty on whatever the difficulty is at P. Okay, so uh, fire spread and mob loot drops. Oh, hang on, it started raining. Right, well, I'll have to turn the volume down. Um, uh, do mob loot true. Um, basically, what that's going to do is allow skeletons to drop, drop bones, for example. Uh, fire spread, pretty obvious, you know. Um, very useful, again, if you want the player to defeat a bunch of zombies but not actually get anything for it in a little adventure room. Uh, I can see that being quite cool. So yeah, fire spread uh, stops fire spreading. Usually you'd need mods to do all this sort of thing, and so this is quite cool because it's going to reduce the number of plugins you'll need on your server. Um, here I'm looking at the anvil. So I've got my 30k katana. I gave myself a katana with uh, 30,000 durability thanks to the help of. I think it was. Oh, I'm having a bit of a bit of a mental blog here. Was it blue? <laughs> I'm going to have to find out. I can't remember whose video it was. Um, I will definitely put it in the description. But I'm going to have a look at this machine now. This machine here is a, is a set. It's like a sequence of command blocks. All designed to put you into a kind of adventure lobby. Okay. So um, each of the blocks, the first three give you items. Um, then the, uh, well, I'll just go through it now. You get the durability sword of 30,000, an armoured chest plate, and uh, leggings, 
and then it sets your spawn point to wherever the lobby should be and then teleports you to the first room. So if you die, you end up back in the uh, where the spawn point was set to. And every time somebody pushes this button, it'll give them everything again. So it's almost like, do you want to play this game? Uh, if they say yes, they hit the button and off they go and they get given the kit, you know. I was thinking about putting in like a clear rule as well, just to make sure no one's there. And also maybe a rule to uh, switch anyone in creative into survival or adventure mode, depending on what you want it to be in. Cool thing about adventure mode is if you leave blocks in a chest, then people can still place blocks if they have them in their inventory. So, you know, we can make little puzzles uh, where you have to be clever about where you put the blocks. Because obviously if you put it in the wrong place, you can't dig it out. So, um, yeah, you've got to be, that'd be interesting. Okay. So, um, going in to here, I'm just fitting my uh, iron sword. Did I actually show you how you name this? Right. It's very, it, oh, hang on, what? That was weird. I don't know if you saw that, guys, but I'm pretty sure that I had a sword and I put it in my inventory and then I jumped off the roof and it was gone. But I've got it again, so let's be careful this time. Okay. Click on here. Put Iron Sword in. Change the name. Obviously, you can combine enchantments and there's loads of videos on that that are way better than this one. So check out Seth Bling or um, some of the um, sort of more famous guys, and they would have gone into a lot more detail. But um, my next video is going to be basically showing the uh, beacon mechanics currently. Um, I'm not going to show off the perks, just the actual radiuses and things. But anyway, there's my iron kit shot. One XP, boom. I got me a sword. No, nope, an axe. Here is the set spawn point. Now this would be amazing in adventure maps as a checkpoint. So, I don't think I'm going to bother showing it because it's the same command as what I use on the other machine. Uh, this is an XP machine. Whenever the player clicks on it, he gets XP. XP 1000 at P. Real easy. Um, obviously, you wouldn't want to have that, <laughs> you know, if you're using an XP shop for weapons. <laughs> but I just wanted to... So yeah, that's my command tower. Um, and I think I'm pretty much done here. So on to the next video. I will have built a lot more in the next video because uh, I'm actually dubbing this a day mate. So um, onward. I think I made those fences for breeding because you can get XP from breeding now. Animals, but I haven't got around to doing it. So I've been much more busy with this whole adventure with command blocks. Anyway, see you next time.